Hi everybody, welcome to this Lightroom tutorial. Today we're going to look at the the metadata side of your files. This can be really handy if you're uploading to stock sites, but it isn't just limited to people that are perhaps trying to make a living from images. It can actually benefit you in other ways. Um, the first reason I would think of primarily is when you're trying to search for an image. You have various search features within Lightroom and one of those abilities is to look for stuff based on keywords. You can also make smart collections where it will build a collection based on a specific keyword within the metadata. So for example if you put London in the metadata of every picture you had from London you could create a smart collection based on the keyword London. Makes sense. So the information that you need to be looking at. You're in the library mode, select your picture, keyword tags. Now you need to put a, a comma in between words. So what we want to do is we want to include words that are relevant to the picture. So in this case I've got, um, this is a picture taken in London which is in the UK. It's got water in the picture, it's a nighttime picture. This is the River Thames. So I've got River, Thames, Bridge, Lights. You can see the idea. Now you, you do have suggestions that come up underneath here. So it will look at things, it will make suggestions based on previous input. So for example, when I've put this in before, I've also used the word architecture, so I can click on the word architecture and I'll add it. When I added the word architecture, I also used the word building, so I'll add that. Um, and then you've got various locations that I've, I've been around to, so that's quite helpful regards adding additional words. Now the other bit of information you need to look at is our file names up there, it's our filing system um, with our image number, so we don't want to change anything like that. But these are the two sections that are more relevant. Title and caption. Title for your photo is not going to change the way the file looks on your hard drive. It's still going to have its original file number for our filing system. But when you upload the photo to the internet, it will look at this part of the metadata to put a title to the picture. So if your file number is 4006 and you upload four th picture 4006 to the internet, the internet, not always, but will, the majority of the time, not call it 4006. It will call it by its title, which is held within the metadata. And very often the description box will be automatically filled from this information, which is the caption. Now just a bit of a heads up here. If you're thinking of going into stock photography, your caption detail for the vast majority of the sites will need to be seven or more words long. So make sure to save yourself the heartache that you do include the caption detail of at least seven words and your title. And that is it. Now if I just press G to go back to my oh excuse me. If I just press G to go back to my grid view the other thing you can do, if you've got images that are the same, um, let's just take these three for example. What you can do is select all three and input the data and it will put the data in for all three photos. So they can all have the same keywords, the same titles, the same caption. I would probably do this even if they are slightly different because it's perhaps easier to name all of these the same and then just go back to the one that's slightly different. For example, these all these three files will have pretty much the same information. The only thing that's different is this one was taken in Tate Britain and this one wasn't. I duplicate the same information between them all. The only thing I really need to change is the title and the caption on this one. Or these two for example. These are perfectly identical, there would be no difference in the keywords or the titles or anything. Um, I could select all those four and I could go in and put uh, keyword information in for colour, vibrant. You're getting the general idea. So you can mix and match which files you're selecting and what words you're adding to those particular files. But if you do all this in the raw basis, it's a lot easier. If you do this to your raw file, once you export your raw file to a JPEG, all this metadata will be in place within the JPEG file, which is a lot easier for you to make all the amendments for your raw file rather than doing it afterwards in your JPEG file. 
because that can cause you some issues with regards to writing those changes to a JPEG image and sometimes if you do that within Lightroom the changes are saved uh, within the catalog but not to the actual file so we won't get into that right now but trust me when I say it will save you a lot of heartache if you do all of your keywording and your meta details to your raw files first then export them to JPEG thanks for watching bye